Steve Gamash with another Chef Knives to go quick look product review. And what we're looking at this time is the Ibuchi Shirogami or white number two Guto 240 millimeter knife. So uh, these have a three layer construction. The inside or harder core layer of steel is Shirogami or white paper number two reactive high carbon steel. Heat treat day targets around 61 Rockwell. I think they do it by eye, Mark said. Uh, so the construction is on either side of that hard reactive core steel, you've got a soft iron reactive cladding as well. So this is an all reactive blade cladding and core. The soft iron cladding has a unique brushed longitudinal uh, finish to it. And it's got a Kuda Uchi or Blacksmith KU finish to it as well. And then you've got a frosted blade road here where it comes down when it's ground down toward the cutting edge. So really cool aesthetic. These are heavy, they're thick, and they're very, very stiff blades. That's the style of this maker. The weight and uh, dimensions might vary a little bit from knife to knife. This particular one is 249 grams or 8.8 ounces. Told you they were heavy. <laughs> so this has some mass to it for sure. Uh, edge length is about 233 millimeters. Uh, so from the tip all the way down to the back of the heel, the chin, about 9.2 inches. Overall length about 380 millimeters or 15 inches or right on the money on this one. These are thick, I said, so there's about four millimeters coming out of the handle. And then about halfway down, it's a good three something, maybe three-ish. Doesn't get too much less than maybe three. And you can see there's not much distal taper on these. The only time it really thins down towards the edge is that grind. So these are got a lot of meat at the tip. They're not going to be laser style knives. That's not what they're all about. Uh, you can see they carry a lot of thickness all the way down to where the grind starts thinning out towards the cutting edge. So, you know, these are going to give you great product food separation, a uh, nice product release as well, especially with the finish. But, you know, they're not going to ghost through stuff. That's not the style of this maker. So, let's see, blade height is about 50 millimeters at the heel, so plenty tall, lots of ground clearance here for your fingers over the cutting board. You've got an octagonal, kind of standard style, octagonal handle with a uh, walnut and a black pack of wood ferrule. Uh, nice fit and finish on these. Pretty smooth all the way around. Decent install. And the balance point on that is going to be, uh, let's see, right about there because it's a pretty heavy blade. So it uh, definitely has a weight forward balance bias. Easy to say that six times in a row. So here is my pinch grip. And so this blade's got some feel and some mass to it. It's, it's definitely, you got a hunk of steel in your hand for sure. Handle circumference, about 73 millimeters, where I measure where the wood meets the ferrule. So um, these are very straight blades. They're very stiff. They've got uh, nice finished characteristics, and they're nicely constructed. The grinds are well done. They've definitely got a high craftsmanship value on these. So here's what it looks like. It's very matte, so it's not too shiny. You can see the matte finish on the blade road. You can see the only real polished areas on the core steel peeking out. You've got kanji. I think it's hand chiseled. It's a little hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's hand chiseled. It doesn't stick up at all. Like you can't feel raised edges, but I believe it's hand chiseled. You've got a really cool finish. This is that brush finish I was talking about. It's very um, kind of deep and textured. Let's see if I can try to catch this for you. There we go. So it's a, it's a highly textured finish. It goes with the blade. Lengthwise, a really cool look, almost a little bit like a wood grain pattern, sort of, but very nice brush marks, quite unique. They've rounded the spine nicely. They've really done a lot of work at the choil to chamfer those edges and clean it up. And so uh, the grinds are clean, the blade is straight. Uh, so they put a lot of work into this, and it's very stiff. Let's look at it on the cutting board. These are maybe five or six out of ten on my scale out of the box edge. Not super, super duper sharp, but you could definitely get them sharper. It's Shirogami number two. You can get it stinking sharp if you want to. Here's the edge profile. These tend to have a fairly aggressive belly towards the tip, so they get real high on a rock. Again, their style. So loads of space for rocking. And a little bit of flat at the back. Not a huge flat spot, but a little bit. About that much. It kind of this particular one has maybe a just a little bit of a touch of bump on the profile, right about in there. But it could be my cutting board too. But nice smooth profile, well done. Loads of curvaceous front end there for rocking. So these will do a real nice job on rocking for you. 
if that's something you're looking at. So definitely kind of the opposite of a laser, but if you're looking for something kind of beefy with some mass to it, um, that's got a lot of confidence in your hand, very stiff blade, uh, th this might fit the bill. So this is the Ibuchi Shidogami, our white number two, Guto 240 millimeter knife.